Hi everyone, Vincent Wayne here for Slash Gear and Android Community with the arrival of Ice Cream Sandwich or Android 4.0. All of our friends here decide they want to come out and say hello. So let's take a look at all of them. And there is the Galaxy Nexus just turning off, powered by Ice Cream Sandwich. So with that, let me uh, give you a quick walkthrough of some more features uh, that is new on Ice Cream Sandwich. So the facial recognition uh, feature on ICS is really good. I've, I've had really good success with it. So let me give you another quick example of me trying to unlock at a very steep angle. You saw how quickly that worked. Now, I've also noticed that if you cover uh, your mouth on down to your chin, it still works. You see how that worked there pretty quickly. So I guess if you have a mustache or whatever, um, it doesn't differentiate that. Now, if you cover your forehead, eyeball, or your nose, um, it's going to fail. The other thing I've noticed is the pattern lock screen is really nice because it's very minimized now. So you can see your home screen a lot better with you know your pictures, up status, and whatnot. So let's go ahead and come on in. The notification feature is really nice. You can dismiss each one individually. And to do that, all you do is, let's say I don't want this anymore. I can just simply slide it off. Pretty neat, huh? Now, while we're here, I took a screenshot of um, the battery usage earlier. Now, after looking this over, I know that the battery, I mean, my screen has been on a lot during uh, the testing phase today. Now, normal use case probably wouldn't go through this much battery life throughout the day, but <clears throat> you know, that's just me. Um, I'm hoping that uh, using the Galaxy Nexus on a regular normal usage will increase it because at this rate, I'm looking at maybe seven to eight hours on the battery life itself. So Google is telling us that the five megapixel camera on the Galaxy Nexus has a zero shutter lag. So let's give it a whirl and see if it's true. Okay, so we're all set here. I'm gonna focus and let's fire off a few shots. So that was pretty quick. Now let's look at the quality of these shots. Okay, so let's go back to shot number one. Not bad, a little dark. There's some noise there, but let's keep going. That one's probably the best. It's not bad when you do need to shoot quickly. Now, how about if we actually don't shoot too fast and actually try to focus on something? Okay, so we got his eyes focused. Okay, let's look at the quality of that shot. Still a little fuzzy. So let me try to hold steady here. I don't think there's anti-shake on here as a feature. So if you've been drinking a lot of coffee like me, try not to take pictures because as you can see, it's a little hazy. And keep in mind, I'm in pretty ideal lighting here. Um, I'll have to chalk this up as not being as great. The quality is not as great as the iPhone uh, 4S in that regard. So image stabilization seems to not be a part of uh, either ICS or Galaxy Nexus. So that's something that if it's important to you, this might not be the right device for you. So I'm going to end this uh, video with a quick tip. This is more of a pro tip for you developers out there. If you want it to, you can go to the developers option and switch on GPU rendering. So what this will do is it will speed things up for you in two dimension. And so let's give it a test here. Let's go to Twitter, 
Now let's scroll through Twitter. Look how quickly that just scrolls through. Pretty amazing, huh? Okay, I promised that was the last one, but here's the last, last one. Let's say you've got a ton of app open like I do. I don't need this phone anymore. You press and hold. You have the option to remove from the list. Just like that. No messaging. Gone. Pretty neat, huh? Hope you've enjoyed this video today. Uh, our review for the Galaxy Nexus and Ice Cream Sandwich should be coming shortly in the next couple of days. Look forward to our review on SlashView.com and Android Community. Thank <laughs> you.